I was on the mom groups again yeah. and checking out this this post from a mom and she basically said my doctor says that I shouldn't do a VBAC and he won't support it because of the risks involved. Should I just labor at home or should I just listen to him and plan a C-section? And the first thing I said was get a new doctor. So why do I say get a new doctor if your doctor won't support VBAC? Well, first of all, this is a hill I will die on. The default exit for your baby is through your vagina. Okay, so there's no such thing as trying for a VBAC. VBAC is what your body is going to do when you don't schedule surgery. There's no such thing as letting you have a VBAC. VBAC is what happens when doctors don't interfere. There's no such thing as allowing you to try or having a trial of labor or any of that nonsense or saying that it's too risky and you shouldn't even have one single contraction. In fact, any doctor that believes that you shouldn't even be able to go into labor if you've had a previous C-section, they don't understand physiological birth and they need to get out of the birth space because all they know how to do is surgery and interventions. They are not for natural birth. If you want to have a natural birth, you have to choose someone who knows how to support that. You can't expect your doctor who only knows how to do surgery to suddenly say, oh yeah, you can try for a VBAC. No, because they're scared. They've never done that before. You have to become the relationship leader and you have to be comfortable with making other people uncomfortable. I lay this all out in my book, Your Empowered Birth, and the book actually outlines my entire process. It's everything that I've taught my high-level clients. A lot of women that hire me, they do it because their doctors have said that they're not allowed to have a VBAC. And they want to prove that wrong. They want to be like, I'll show you. I'm going into labor. I'm going to attempt this. So the moms that I typically help have already had one or more C-sections. They've already been tricked by the medical system. They're fed up. And they are determined not to have a C-section again. They're determined not to be bullied again. And for whatever reason, they're they're like, you know what? Like, I'm not, I'm not going back into surgery. They, they'll have to drag me kicking and screaming. But I teach them how to do it in a way that they don't have to fight, they don't have to beg, they don't have to compromise. They're able to have their beautiful vaginal birth after cesarean. Or if they decide later that they need to have medical intervention, they feel empowered in that choice to take on, maybe they need the epidural, maybe they decide that they want to induce labor to get things going. Whatever it is, they make the decisions, not their care provider. Because let me just tell you, if you leave it up to your doctor, they're going to push you into surgery. They're going to decide that your VBAC has to take a certain path. They're going to put a whole bunch of restrictions on it. They're going to tell you that you have to go under a certain date into labor or they schedule a C-section. They're going to tell you that your baby has to be under a certain weight. They're going to tell you that you can only be in labor for X amount of hours and you're constantly going to have to be fighting against this assumption that you're going to just be a disaster waiting to happen just for trying a vaginal birth after cesarean. And let me just tell you, the same thing happens even if you've never had a C-section before. Because that's what the medical system is really trained for, is to do pathology in birth. They don't know how to support physiological birth. So, if your doctor is saying that they're not going to even let you try a VBAC, this doesn't mean you can't do it. This doesn't mean it's dangerous. It just means it's dangerous with them because they don't know how to support you. Go find another doctor. And make sure you check out my book, Your Empowered Birth. It's available on Amazon. You go to empoweringmomsbirth.com forward slash book. And you can also read some powerful stories of moms who have had a VBAC. And they've done it even when the odds were stacked against them. I tell you about why natural birth doesn't work. I give you a quick video overview of what you really need to be focusing on to have a natural birth, especially with a VBAC. And I share more about why this is so important and what is in your empowered birth. So go and check it out. The link's also in my bio, by the way. So just click the link below. Go to my link tree 
and go check out this book and follow me for more great tips because I'm determined to make sure that you get the birth you want and you don't keep falling into all these traps. All right, I'm going to go put this child to bed and I'll see you soon. Bye.